in Africa, to be a healer, you have to be initiated by your ancestors. And I deeply, highly believe that I've been initiated and um, by my ancestors to be a healer. And I've been this way since I was a kid. So I believe I was initiated since I was a kid. Um, I had these abilities to speak to things that I can't see, which is our ancestors. I have a connection with the spiritual realm. And um, yeah, I've been initiated to be a healer on earth. And my ancestors are always guiding me to do, to, 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 to learn about my ancestral path and to learn who I am and to dig deep into it. And a lot of times when I was a kid, I did not know that I was initiated. So a lot of bad things was happening to me. And most of the time when you are initiated by your ancestors to be a particular, to have a particular role in, in, in real life, you go through horrible accidents and things happen to you and you have to heal yourself and you have to answer the calling. And if you don't answer the calling, it'll keep happening to you, to you in your life. And so, yeah. Um, I am currently searching for someone to train me on my healing process on how to dig deep into my initiation, my spiritual adult, my African tradition, you know. I, I I want to learn more about it. So if anyone out there that knows anybody that can help me with the African tradition and how to dig deeper into my gifts and uh to 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 learn about this initiation that I have been receiving that I have received um, I've answered the calling because I do, I am an herbalist. I, I'm into holistic. So, you know, I'm on the right path, but I would love to dig deeper into how did my ancestors do it? <laughs> I guess that's something that I have to ask my ancestors myself, but, um, yeah, to get initiated, you have to be initiated by your ancestors. It's not good to self-initiate because to self-initiate, you'd have to be willing to go through all of these sacrifices. To be initiated is not easy. Trust and believe that. It is not easy to be initiated. But I have been. I did not answer this. I mean, to be initiated, you do not choose it. The path chooses you. So I remember... When I first had my spiritual my spiritual awakening, um, I used to say, "Oh, I'm chosen, I'm chosen, I'm chosen." And um, in that process, when I was saying I'm chosen, I was still a Christian. I was still studying Christianity, and in the Bible, they had you know um, Moses, you had Jeremiah, you had um, Jacob, and all of them. They were chosen, you know, but that's not my African tradition, you know. So I was thinking that I'm one of them, you know, oh, I'm chosen, you know, I'm Jacob, I'm Joseph, you feel me? I feel like Joseph. I used to say all these things. And if you go down into my content, you will see that I was really saying it a lot. So now that I know that my roots are African, um, I call it initiation. I have been chosen by my ancestors. I have been initiated by my ancestors to be a healer. Working with herbs, healing people with herbs, and and um uh, have a having a connection with the spiritual realm to to bring people peace and and love from their ancestors and just making people you know really love themselves and heal themselves. So yeah, um, so yeah, I'm not afraid to say um, I'm still learning. Is now that I I know that um, Christianity is not my my it's a religion, it's not spiritual, it's not a spiritual um it's a spirituality but it's not you know spiritual uh, religion it's not a lifestyle that's something that is ordered and you know it's like 
laws and uh it's a certain days you go to church and all that stuff it's like organized it's routine spirituality is not a routine it's not something that you feel guilty about you know um in the african tradition we are spiritual we are very spiritual and there are only one god nobody else there's only one god and i've always believed that and once I was learning about my learn about the African tradition more, I'm like, oh my gosh, I relate more to this rather than the Christianity. And you know, um, I don't knock no religion. You know, I respect all there is. You know, but you know, I'm I feel better and more comfortable with my gifts. And um, in the African tradition, I fit in with it more because Christianity, they don't accept me for who I am. I guess they think it's demonic. So my African tradition, is, I'm, I'm really excited. You know, it, it's, it's really just causing me to read more. It's causing me to ask around my family members to see who was in my family that was um, a healer, who was into holistic practices like who was it and it's hard for me to find that and I feel like I'm never going to find it but um I feel a lot better just talking to my ancestors I feel a lot better talking to my ancestors because I feel like they give me the answers and I just flow I like to flow with the air so you know however I am guided throughout the day is how how I feel like that's how God wants me to move and everything always falls into place the way it should when I, when I go with the flow and, um, this initiation process, look, (laughs) listen, my car accident, my near death experience was crazy to be initiated you have to go through a near-death experience you have to go to some don't go through some type of tragic accident that um that kind of awaken you a lot more that was your ancestors trying to awaken you like hey answer the calling so that we can help you like answer the calling my car accident was crazy <laughs> I don't regret reading the Bible. I still do read the Bible for my inspiration and to feed my spirituality a lot more too. And I still look at sermons. Uh, T.D. Jakes ain't going nowhere. That's the only person I look at. T.D. Jakes or Sarah Jakes. Um, Them two is powerful. But I am led more into my African tradition because that is where... I learned who I am. That is how I learned my initiation process. That is how I learned my gifts Um, in the African tradition. You know, everything that I've been into since I was a kid, it's all in the African tradition. This is why no other religion couldn't, they couldn't see me. They couldn't see my value because they are not keen to the tr- the African tradition they demonized our rituals they demonized our practices and our spirituality so you know I didn't even look towards that because it was demonized you know I was always told that doing these rituals doing these practices are are demonic but you know it's all about intention I am all about God I am of the light I am of the light I come from God and I only do things from God the light so um a lot of it's a- I am learning a lot. That's all I can say. And I am digging deep into my initiation process. I am, I have answered the call, of course. Um, I got fired from my job, thinking that that was something that I was, you know, meant to do. Um, I had a lot of trouble at that job. <laughs> Um, And that was for a reason because I'm not meant to work. I'm meant to heal the earth. And I couldn't do that there. So, um, yeah, I got fired. And right after that, the same year, I got my LLC to be a herbalist practitioner. And there's a lot of herbalist practitioners 
in African spirituality. Did not know that until recently. And um, my ancestors guided me towards learning about my African tradition because that is where I will learn who I am about my gifts. I have a lot of gifts that a lot of people don't know about. Um, probably most of my family know, but, um, you know, my gifts are very sacred to me and I use it whenever I am led to, and I'm, I'm just seeking for initiation doctors, somebody from Africa that can help me with my gifts. (laughs) So yeah, during this process, during my spiritual awakening, I had to learn how to let go of how I was raised. I had to let go of the religion because being um, a herbalist practitioner, you a shaman, a, a psychic medium, which is some of the things, some of the gifts that I have, you cannot be a part of religion um, because, you know, we get our guidance from just God. We get our guidance from spirit. From our ancestors, uh, our ancestors lived through our eyes. Um, you know, we are really close to God. You know, we are spirits having a human experience, and you know, religion has nothing to do with that. So, it is important for me to separate religion from me. It was important for me to separate the things that I was taught in my family. I'm the youngest out of all nine i have uh two little brothers and brothers under me but i'm the youngest female and yeah i've been initiated i've been chosen by my ancestors to heal and i am willing i am i am open to receiving the love and guidance from my ancestors i am all for it and i'm just really searching i'm curious is any one of my subscribers if anyone of Anybody who watches my videos, are you, have you have you been initiated? Are you aware that you have been initiated or chosen by your ancestors to be a healer, to be a prophet, to be a medium, to be a psychic, to be whatever, to be a star seed? You, you know, like, are you aware that you have been initiated? I just really want to know if you are that person, if you feel like you have been led to be, if you feel like you have been initiated by your ancestors, comment down below and tell me your experience. Tell me, let me know who you talk to, who train you to, for you to dig deeper into your gifts, you know, um, give me some pointers. Um, cause I'm still, I'm still learning about my African tradition and I'm still learning about my initiation process. I'm still learning about my gifts even though I naturally already been um learning, I mean, you know, even though I naturally know how to use my gifts, it's just you know, I feel like there is something deeper. It's something deeper that I need to know. It's it's the some it's the main part that I need to to grasp and apply to my practices, and I'm open to finding out. Peace, love, and light. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>